Um, it's a mecha? Alright. Wasn't ready for this. For sure. I'm guessing I gotta hit you in the face. On the side. I want that HP. Okay, we got bouncing beams. Good to know. And slow moving projectiles? Can I get up on this side? No. Alright, there we go. Now I can get over here, though. Nope, can't quite catch him with the heart hammer from there. Can from here, though. Okay, that's two hearts. Three hearts, actually. That is ideal. Destroying the ground is not nice. Need some more HP. Ooh. Oh, come on. I jumped right through his hand. Damn it. Okay, it looks like it starts me back here, though. This seems totally doable. It doesn't seem like a hard fight at all, in fact. Alright, what are you doing? This part's a little rough. Just because there's so much waiting involved. Stop, stop trying to follow me with your, like, little eyeball lasers. Quit that. Ah, uh, thought I was going to get some HP out of that one. I did not, though. There we go. Give me some HP, please. Okay, so you can't really bounce off of those while they're doing that particular attack. Give me that HP, though. Oh, uh, spike balls. Go away. I don't need this. I'm a king. I was about to say, you're probably about to drop. Wow, you took me too high, damn you. Okay, now we got bubbles. What kind of attack is that? I mean, it, it was a pretty good one, apparently, because it knocked me right into the hole. Need that. Damn it. Nope. I thought, I thought if I bounced off his chin, I could hit the side of him with the pirouette, but it did not work. Uh, all right. So the pirouette is just useless in this particular fight, which is unfortunate because it's one of the best attacks, in all honesty. Aw, oh, come on, I made it up there and then you just move. You're a jackass, you know that? Can I hit you from here? No. If only the heart hammer had a bit more upwards range. All right, I'll take that. That's two hearts. Give me that HP. All right, I just need to dodge these. As we've learned, you can't really jump off of them while they're in flight. Let me go get this HP. All right, I hit the side of that block down there, so it made me jump. I think you're doing... yeah. Yeah, I just kind of stood there and took that. Oops. Wait, how, why do you have trooples helping you? What is this? Ooh, four hearts? Thank you. Needed that. Oh, I tried to crouch, but I forget. In Shovel Knight, you can barely crouch. Like, it's, it's not even worth doing most of the time. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to fall there. Or just walk right off the map like an idiot. Well, this is a death. HP, please. Nope. The eyeball lasers come out. Damn it. Okay, maybe... Heart Hammer just seems so useful, though. I don't think I would be surviving as well if I wasn't using the Heart Hammer. So, I just need to continue using that, I believe. Ah, you stupid lasers. I don't like the bouncy lasers. I don't even mind these things. It's just the bouncy lasers that are annoying. Give me that HP. Definitely need some of that. Okay, I'm fine with this. 
All right. More of this junk. Ah, couldn't get that last hit in. All right, I know what you're doing here. There we go. Cool. No, don't fall into the pit, you idiot. All right, just take it easy. Nope, that wasn't easy. Ah, he like blocks his face, so you can't get up to it when he does this. Give me that HP. Oh, what the hell? So at the f at the finale, I have to stay on his hands. Ooh, Blitzel might be good here actually. Because once he does that stuff where he's up high, I can just shoot the Blitzel at him. That might be a potentially winning strategy. Let's give that a shot. Yeah, that's... That's solid damage, I guess. It's easy to combo into as well. Oh, yeah. This might be a winning strategy. There we go. No, oh, come here. Let me hit the side of that cheek. Uh, you almost got me there. Okay, that was dirty. He, like, knocked me off the side of the map by bouncing me. And I hit that. Damn it. Yeah, this is, this is just something that requires memorization, basically. Here we go. Some more damage in. Oh, of course. Of course when I turn coat, nothing happens. Good. And I just fell right off and died because I didn't quite make the jump. I mean, at least these attempts are fast. If I, if I would have been using something else that time, I probably would have won there. In all honesty. Wait, does that... What? I, what? Watch this. So, when I jump on his face with the gyro, I kind of bounce around, but I don't actually do damage. Like, I just hit the side of him right there, but it, it doesn't hurt him. Weird. Well, this attempt is basically kibbutz, but... It's nice to find out the gyro is just not usable in the fight at all. Alright. That was one of the better relics, too. Hmm. Let's just... Let's pause for a second and just think... What could I use? Saber... Hmm... I mean, I don't really want to use the decree... the degrees... Decree of Rejuvenation. Attack in succession with quick slaps. I don't think... I think I have to be standing beside something to use that. I mean, let's give it a shot, I guess. Maybe it'll work. I was, like, stuck under his hand there. I, c I couldn't even reach him. Alright, go ahead and do your dumb little attack. Okay, so, yeah, that doesn't work either. So only certain... Only certain relics seem to work against this boss. Blitz will seem to work. So, I guess let's work on switching back to that one. Ow. And the Blitzel didn't even hit. Ow. Yeah, this looks like another bum attempt as well. Free damage. I should probably quit talking. Probably after this attempt is when I'll uh, give up on talking. Ooh. That's a bunch of hearts. I can use that to farm HP for sure. There we go. Good damage there. Come on. Got him. Okay, so Blitz... Blitz, uh, Blitzel was the... 
solution in this particular case. Don't you dare. Oh my gosh. Okay. We might be here a while. At least it drops HP when you damage it. Okay, HP, please. This doesn't seem too terribly difficult so far. If I fall, I'm straight up dead though. So there's that. Please don't tell me I have to restart from the last phase. Oh, come on, this is obnoxious. Okay, take me back to Cardia. I would rather have her. I would absolutely rather have Cardia. So here, here I was thinking, okay, I'm, I'm good as long as I just survive this boss. This is now three bosses in a row. <laughs> Get out of here with this. With your stupid homing tears and all of this. All right, I think now is probably when I'll start cutting the attempts on this boss out, I guess. At least this phase, I mean. So, in that last attempt I just did, I did find out a pretty neat strategy you can do and he's kind of holding his, uh, holding you like far away from his head so you can't hit him. Like this. You can just spam these blitzels and he will get messed up by it. So that's a neat little strategy I found. Please just let me jump on your hand. Stop idly moving it in annoying ways. Okay. There's that phase down. We have two HP, so I'm not incredibly hopeful. Ugh. I, I absolutely despise when games do like this many bosses in a row because I'm just, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at maintaining a state of being able to win for this long. Don't just slightly move them. Okay, we should... What? He... What? Okay, I, I think I, I dashed into him, I started to jump up, he hit me with a tear. I did the same thing again, he stopped me again. Yeah, no, I would... Just go ahead and make... Just go ahead and make Cardia the final boss of the game and go ahead and make this the optional boss because this is leagues harder than Cardia was like you couldn't use relics but it doesn't matter if this is what you have to deal with if you do use relics all right here we are again I'm getting pretty good at defeating the first phase it's just the second phase that can be kind of rough for me and I imagine I absolutely have to bounce on its head to actually damage it. I don't think I can do anything fancy like using turn code on it to damage it or anything. Would have been really... Wh why, why does it do that? Is he shooting and that's what's hurting me? I can't really tell. I think in that phase, Gyro may be my best bet. Just because being able to stay up in the air longer in case I start to die would be really helpful. It sucks that there's a phase of the boss you can instantly die against, period. Alright. Here we are. Another one of these phases. Like I said, I think I'm going to switch to the gyro. Because this might end up saving my life. Because if I, if I start to fall, I can use the gyro to try and save myself. Like that. Because he apparently just can hit you right when you don't really need to be hit sometimes. There we go. Two more damage. Let's wait for him to move around a bit. Okay. There we go. So if I could have just made it to the second phase, this would have been super easy. Whew. What a boss fight. I did not intend this to take as long as it did. Jeez. Birder was stuck up. Oh, Birder flew out. Yeah. Nah, you, nah, nah. Drop him. Just, just drop him. I don't want him anymore. <laughs> they made me go through that. Especially, it skips on the ladder too. Nah. Just, just, just let go. We did it, King Knight. Her spell is broken, but help, I'm losing my grip. Yes, King Knight, you have proven yourself. 
Come with me, forget these weaklings, join my order of no quarter, and rule pride more keep as its one true king. It's all yours, just abandon your friends. Oh, so is this leading into Shovel Knight 1? Ha, he would never! My boy, don't, don't listen to her, you wouldn't leave us hanging here, would you? Do you people have any idea what you put me through in this LP? Have you learned nothing about being a king? Please, what would your mother think? Silence. <laughs> so, yeah, we get the scumbag ending. Yeah, later, Skip. Get out of here. And the three kings, too, because you made me fight that really hard boss. Ho ho ho, splendid, my king knight. Crown jewel of the Order of No Quarter. Spectre Knight did well to bring you to me. Now, your highness, what would you issue as your first proclamation? Shred every Joustice card. The King of Cards competition is over. The only crown that matters is mine. It shall be so. The armies of the Tower of Fate prepare to march at this very moment. Now come, your majesty. Finally, let us forge a new kingdom in fire. So. So King Knight's the one that started uh, some of the events in Shovel Knight 1, huh? I was kind of curious because the Enchantress... Like, Shield Knight isn't here, so it makes sense. So we get a, we get a, like, evil ending of sorts, I guess. There's Propeller Knight. There's how the Bard lost all of his music scrolls, oh no! Everything's being explained. There's Mr. Hat's shop. Run, Grandma Swamp! Oh no. This is a really cool, uh, visual, actually. I like that quite a bit. There goes the first house of Joustice. Yep. They're just burning all the cards. An explosive fad ends. And there's Plague Knight destroying them all. I love Plague Knight's victory dance. He just looks so cool while doing it. The Truple Pond. So I wonder, is this our, like, credits of sorts? If it is, I guess I can give my thoughts. This was a really fun little adventure. I didn't know how long it was going to be, especially didn't think it was going to be like its own full game. But wow, it was really detailed. There was a lot to do. Joustus was surprisingly in-depth. I really didn't expect that. And the game itself just played really well, I find. As I mentioned before, it really has that Yacht Club shine, as it were. There's Mr. Hat selling his stuff. Tower of Fate, Spectre Knight. I thought he was hanging out on a Christmas tree. There's his locket. I should probably play uh, Spectre Knight at some point on my own time, because it seems like it would be really fun. And you do get to see how he would play in this particular game. Iron Whale, Treasure Knight. You gonna beat it up, Treasure Knight? Wow, where's our Treasure Knight DLC where we get to play as Mega Man, basically? <laughs> Look at this. I love it. So that's how that trap for Shovel Knight got set up. Because you, you fall down there as Shovel, uh, Shovel Knight and you try to open that chest and the giant anglerfish comes out at you. It's the Hall of Champions with Knight D. And there's Phantom Striker. Oh, so that's, that's, okay, so the Hall of Champions, I believe, was the, um, was originally the, uh, what's the word? The, like, area that all the Kickstarter backers were at. And here's all the people that were betrayed, and this out of the homestead gets made. So King Knight's mom is the one that makes the food over there. Interesting. So the Kickstarter backers, they were all in there because they got ushered in by, uh, Phantom Striker, as it were. Here's these three nerds. Four, I guess, if you count Black Knight. Accepting an invitation. Oh no, all the Joustice cards. Can't you give me some of those so I can complete my collection at least? Please, my boy, be reasonable now. Oh ho ho, I am through being reasonable. Now I'm your king. If you need some coin, you can sweep the floor. Ha <laughs> ha.
Oh dear, what is that we- what is- what is it that we have created and where shall I go? Don't worry, you can stay in King Knight's old room. It seems like he has plenty of space in this big castle of his. But that's my room, or I- I mean fine. Live in the filth of my former home. I have a castle and a kingdom to tend to. I suppose I've lost everything, but as long as I behold you, darling, I'm a rich man. Off we go, then. Oh yeah, you don't have a Griffith. Sorry, your parapets are busy guarding my parapets. I can't be running a public ferry, you know. Ah, uh, fine then. We'll take good care of everything I've created here. Oh, poor King Pridemore. It looks like you finally got your kingdom, King Knight. I hope it was all worth it. Mom, wait! Mom! Uh, well, finally the riffraff and my mom are gone. Time to get to work, my loyal subjects. We're about to make some big improvements around here. And is that our closing image? King of cards, feat accomplished. Cartography king, victory. I didn't collect every card, but yeah, I guess I've already kind of went over my thoughts, so we don't have to sit through all of the credits here, but... Yeah, this was a fun little adventure, and as I said before, I think I have a good follow-up to it. There's a game coming out in February that I definitely, definitely want to LP, so I'm going to have to put some things in between the finish of this and uh, February. Early February is when that game comes out, so I think I have a good follow-up to this, albeit a short one. So I hope you have enjoyed this LP of Shovel Knight King of Cards, and I will see you next time. Uh, so it looks like after the credits, we got sent here. Finally, after all my trials, everything is as it ought to be. No fish, chickens, or musicians to bother me. My boots are clean of truple spit, and I've rid my kingdom of every blasted joustus card. Best of all, my castle is a gleaming shrine of golden opulence, a worthy monument to my grandeur. At long last, I can settle into my throne and bask in my own perfection. Now I'll be king forever. There we go. There's the end. Alright, now I will see you next time.